Sean Skill and Jawan Jennings both signed yeah. their one-year tender. Now, they are restricted free agents, and so real quick, if people don't understand that, if you have less than four accrued seasons, um, then you are a restricted free agent. Both of those are guys who were cut and then brought in, so they didn't live through their rookie deal because they were waived and or cut, um, and so they didn't get the traditional four-year rookie deal, uh, even though – Jawan Jennings was drafted in the seventh round. He was cut and then brought back. So whenever they do that, they usually sign a two-year deal. So their two-year deal got done. They're restricted. They're not allowed to negotiate with anybody else until they have four accrued years. So this is the last cheap year for both of these players. Actually, Jawan Jennings might have one more year. I think he's got one more year. I was going to ask you, when when did he get cut? I remember he got he got cut from the practice squad, right? Um, the yeah, so what, remember he had the injury. He had he the injury. get healthy. Yep. And at some point, oh, man, here we go. I, I'm going to pull this up no, right I, here. I believe you. I just don't remember him them releasing him. That's crazy. I don't remember that. I remember the injury, 100%. Then I thought he got COVID or something. Like, it was, it was weird. He didn't get COVID. He was on that injured list. I'm trying oh, to figure yeah, out. Yeah, maybe. What... Okay, so here we go. We signed him June 24th, 2020. So it was a four-year, $3.4 million deal. Here's why it's a good news for Juwan Jennings that he got cut. Um, we The 49ers cut him September 6th, so he didn't make the initial 53-man roster that year. Oh. They brought him back onto the practice squad, protected him several times, and he's got that deal. Now, here's the good news. The good news is he would have only made $3.4 million as a seventh-round pick. If he continues playing like he's playing now, he'll get that second-round tender that um, – Aziz is getting, which is three four three point four million dollars for one year. So if Aziz signs his deal, which he has not, I wouldn't mind talking about that. We, we um, need to discuss that, bro. It, it, like, so this is good news for Juwan Jennings and the fact that he now has the opportunity to make more money uh, long term, especially with the way he's playing. Um, but Daniel Brunskill, this is the last year of cheap Daniel Brunskill. We still have shoot three more years uh, of cheap deals with. Three, including 2022. So 2023 and 2024, still cheap for Juwan Jennings. He's going to be around for a while because that first year he didn't play. So mm -hmm. guess what? Under the contract rules under the CBA, it's almost like last year was technically his rookie year because Got he was you. never he went so, on a true roster. He wasn't activated. So he so read, technically he this is Juwan Jennings' first rookie year. Rookie year. I got you. That makes sense. Technically, not technically. All right, let's go to Aziz. Listen, if he doesn't sign this tender, which I believe he will. But this is it for him, though, right? Right? Because now the 49ers are going to have to find a way to either pay him or he'll be, he'll be a free agent, right? Or he'll be restricted. No, 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 no. He's restricted. Aziz is restricted because, again, right. he was similar. He got cut his rookie year. I, I want to okay. make sure I get this correct okay. on the timeline here. I, either way, he's restricted, and the 49ers will own his right. So if he does go and look for a deal or whatever or whatnot, the 49ers can match the deal or do whatever and, and, and contain him. Right. So he has three years accrued. Okay. 2019, 2020, 2021. 2021. This is the fourth year. So it's a second round tender. So here's the one th issue. He's not allowed to negotiate. He can't. Okay. He can't hold out uh, because then it doesn't. The year, the fourth year just relapses next year. So let's Which say means he'll have to do it. have to repeat it. Yeah. It, yeah. He, he doesn't get that extra year. The only way that he would go somewhere else is. If another team came out of nowhere and said, we want Aziz, we will sign him for whatever he wants, they have to send us their second round second pick. Second round pick. That's the And tender. we can match it, right? So the 49ers get matching ability. So That's let's what just say saying. the Patriots come out and say, we're going to pay Aziz $6 million a year. Okay, we're going to sign him for a one-year $6 million deal, whatever. The 49ers could say, okay, we'll, take, we'll pay the exact terms that you made of your contract, and then we keep them, or we say no – and then Aziz goes to them, but we get their second round pick. Right. That's how it works. Right. And that's the how the restricted round stuff works. determines the cap, the cap. Uh, implications and contract implications. Understood. Just want to say thanks for watching and supporting the 49ers Rush Podcast channel. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do so in the middle of your screen now. And here are a few extra videos if you want to check that out for some more 49ers content. Just want to say thank you. And as always, stay strong, faithful.